Hello everybody. So today is another inspired by video. I've wanted to do this look for a really, really long time. I feel like it's okay to recreate other people's art. It's okay to be inspired. And that's why we're doing this inspired by series to show the world it is okay to be inspired by others and just do what you love. So I have, I did these nails yesterday. They're so cute. The other hand has uh, had some casualties. <laughs> Um, three of them I took, or two of them I took off, three of them, I just, this hand was rushed, okay, this hand was rushed, we don't do well with our left hand, but we have really cute nails on, so yeah, we have some so dinner. Today's look is inspired by, I want to get this right, because in my alien video, I literally said it was inspired by EG makeup art, and then I did the whole video, and it turns out it was inspired by face chartist, and I knew that, but I just didn't say that. I even put like their socials and everything in the editing, um, so I had to go through and cut out the pieces on YouTube Studio and just cut out those portions, which is why there's like some jump cuts, um, and like put all their social, like the proper socials in the description. So I want to make sure that I actually get this correct. So this is inspired by Caked by Kelsey. I love her. She's actually recreated some of my art before, so I'm very excited to recreate this. I love my face shape for every day, but it's so annoying when I'm filming a look, doing a body paint or something, and all I got is a two head. I don't have a four head. I have like a three head at max. So like, it'd be nice if I could have a little bit more real, real estate to work with, but that's fine. We'll block out the eyebrows. We'll make some real estate to work with. So of course I'm using the non-toxic washable school glue. You guys know we used to we grew up with this stuff. This is the good stuff. And this is the purple. And I was going to block out my eyebrows. Okay, so now that we use the Mayron to draw our little eye mask and then the Morphe palette, so I'm just taking the blue shades that I showed you that I'm using um, and we're just shading it to make it look more realistic and taking the deep blue on a little um, eyebrow kind of brush. Um, I say I'm a lot. <laughs> and I'm just going out and eye eyelining, outlining the edges to kind of give it that 3D look where it would be naturally 3d so just doing some shadows then i go in and draw some little creases and then i take that white shade that i showed you and we do some highlighting so i highlight under the creases i highlight the nose area um, i highlight around the top and just anywhere that the sun or any light would hit is where I highlighted. Then I'm taking a aqua liner and I'm using black and drawing in the straps so that our eye mask can stay on our face. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the vitamin enriched face base. Now that I have this on, we're going to be doing the face. 
Um, so I'm just doing the Vitamin Rich Face Base by Bobbi Brown. You guys know I absolutely love this stuff and you really don't eat a lot. Then I'm going to take the Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation. This is like an amazing foundation. I absolutely love it. I'm trying to use it up so I can test other foundations. Um, but this is, I, I love it. I love it. And then lastly, I'm so sad this is like discontinued. But whatever. <laughs> Leaves room for more amazing concealers to test. But this is the Marc Jacobs Extra Shot Concealer. Again, trying to use it up. So that's why it's in all of my videos. But I absolutely love it. You really don't need a lot of this primer, which is why I got the travel size. So I'm taking the Cash Beauty Secret Treasure Palette, and I'm so sad she's discontinuing this, but whatever, life's life. So I'm taking Fade and Burnt. I'm going to first take a little bit of Fade. You do not need a lot. And I'm just going to blend that kind of like I'd smoke it out. Okay, so I'm first going in with Fade. I do mix in a little bit of Burnt after, but I'm just applying that all over my crease, blending it on my lid, and bringing it down my nose, the bridge of my nose, and under my eye um, to create a kind of bruised look, um, where you just look very tired. It looks very bruised right now, and then I just, I took my Beauty Blender with the leftover product. You can use your Beauty Blender or your brush or anything, um, or get a Beauty Sponge, Beauty Sponge, uh-oh. <laughs> Um, and then I just go over with my leftover concealer. So these are the big beautiful lashes from Ardell and this is in shade style cheeky. And then I topped it off with this Kylie or Kendall by Kylie Cosmetics lip gloss. This is such a good lip gloss. It's really sticky though. But I do like the color. And welcome to how I look. 99% of the time, very tired. This was such a fun look to film. I love how it turned out. It's just a cute little look. Nothing fancy. Nothing over the top. I love it. I think it's so cute. Um, yeah, so I'm really happy to do this. So big shout out to Caked by Kelsey who did this look originally. I absolutely love her heart, her her art. Um, she's killing it out there, so I'm very excited to recreate this, and if you like this, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below what other artists you think um, are doing amazing, because I'd love to check them out as well, and this is how I show my appreciation towards other artists and all that, so definitely go follow Kick by Kelsey, all of um, her socials will be in the description, and yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. All the products used in this video will be linked in the description, as well as all my other socials will be in the description box as well. Thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!